Today we're gonna do VLOOKUP in Excel, and if you don't know VLOOKUP, get excited because it will change your life. If you're an Excel expert, you probably wanna fight with me about VLOOKUP versus index match, which I'm totally open to. We'll do a whole separate video on index match. I also think it's great. Let's start here. I just have some sp a spreadsheet with a bunch of law school data um, for a lot of schools and a whole bunch of stats on the schools. I only care about looking at the top 13 schools. So I just wrote the numbers out one through 13. And here I'm going to say school name. And I'm going to use VLOOKUP, so it's equals VLOOKUP. And my lookup value is going to be one. And I'm going to hit F4 a few times. I'm going to lock that A column. And then I'm going to insert the array that I'm looking in. So here I'm going to look from column A. Let's just highlight all of our data. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. And again, hit F4. OK, then it's asking for the column index number. So what VLOOKUP's gonna do is it's gonna look for rank number one on your screen, there it is, and it's going to look across however many columns you tell it. So I'm gonna say two, and then the last thing is what kind of lookup you wanna do. Is it gonna be an exact match or an approximate match? So I always put zero because I'm always looking for the exact, an exact match. So if I do that, you should see there's, Yale is ranked number one, so when I hit enter, Yale should come up. Great. If I copy this down, you'll see that all the schools should populate based on their ranking. Wonderful. Now I'm going to do this for something else. So I'm just going to copy my formula over to the next column. So it still says Yale, but that's okay. And this one's going to be tuition. And the only thing I'm going to change here, because you'll see my lookup value is still A5, so I still want the number one ranked school. And I still have the same data set that I'm looking in. But instead of looking two columns across, I'm gonna look three columns across to grab the tuition. So I'm just gonna change that number two to a three, and there you go. So now I'm gonna copy that down, double click there. And so now here I have just the data on all the schools that I wanted to look at. Hi, I'm Sarah. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Excel Tips and Tricks, Business Insider Excel. <sighs>